What's up guys? Welcome to the next weekly ramble video. Today I've only got a few things to talk about. Uh, the first thing though I do want to mention, I'm very sorry for the late videos this week. Uh, we got a little bit behind on exporting. Uh, some of that has to do with the extra video <clears throat> that we had this week, uh, the What's My Name game, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later in this video. Uh, but that kind of set us back a little bit. We ended up having to export twice. It was a whole thing. So I do apologize. Uh, we should be back on track after this video. Uh, I have to still record the Crackerback video, but after that, we're good to go. So, uh, apologies out of the way. Uh, I really wanted to talk about playtesting with guilds uh, of Ravnica this week, because Will and I have been sitting down. This is really the first time that we've sat down for multiple days and really playtested not only uh, standard viable decks and our own sort of brews, uh, but also in Limited, where we actually kind of sit down and do the sealed pool, which is sort of our norm, but... In this case, we kind of broke it down by guild and actually made decks for each guild uh, and playtested with those very extensively in comparison to what we normally do. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, this is the most I've played Magic in a long time uh, in just the span of a few days. Really, it was over the weekend for the most part. Uh, and then a little bit during the week, this week, uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we still are having fun with it. We still have a number of brews that we want to uh, mess around with and hopefully bring you guys via deck tech uh, videos, which it seems like you guys really enjoy, so we're gonna ch keep attempting to churn those out as much as possible. Um, obviously the biggest importance for that is we need to have a deck that we're excited about uh, to bring that to you guys. So uh, we'll do our best uh, to keep this coming for you. Uh, I believe the plan this weekend is to kinda narrow down a few that we do have on the radar and maybe go ahead and, and put a uh, another video together. So. Uh, really, really excited. Really stoked about guilds. Uh, I was the build up was great. I mean, the hype around it was real. And now that it's released, we finally have you know the cards to sit down and actually play with and see what we can build. Uh, we teased a thousand year storm deck uh, in the podcast episode. I don't think it's going to work out the way that we were wanting it to. Uh, we play tested a lot with that deck. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Thousand Year Storm basically gives all of your instants and sorceries storm, uh, which is awesome, super, super powerful. Uh, and we built like a rug version of the deck, and then it kind of turned into just an is it version of the deck. Uh, and it was fine, but it just kind of span its wheels a lot. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with four copies of your win con even, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to get to it. And really, it just counters as much as possible, and that's it. So, um... It's not the best deck in the world, uh, but it is fun. So if we do fine-tune that list at some point down the road, uh, we will, of course, bring that to you. I know uh, against the odds, uh, Saffron Olive went ahead and, and did a Is It version of the deck, uh, which I didn't actually watch the video on, but I did see the deck tech, uh, and it, it looked really fun, um, but there's no point in repeating that content. So uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I'd, I like the idea of doing the rug build. I think it would be fun. Uh, but we'll see what can happen. So working with that, uh, but again, deck tech's coming your way uh, as much as possible. We're going to do the best we can to uh, bring those out for you, which brings me to the big sort of overarching point of this weekly ramble, which uh, is sort of content that we enjoy making versus content that you guys enjoy watching, uh, which is sort of a bigger concept. It's not even related just to magic. It can be, you know, if you're a photography channel or a... Uh, I don't know, random makeup channel. I don't know. I'm thinking of random things. But uh, if you're in any sort of YouTube environment, um, you kind of struggle with that fine line of what videos do I want to make versus what videos people actually want to see. Uh, and what we have found uh, just even in the past week, uh, and I'll give some examples, is that people like some of our videos that we don't necessarily have the best time making or I don't have the best time making because a lot of these, a lot of the ones you guys like, I just sit down and kind of churn out every once in a while. Uh, or um, the videos that we actually sit down, we work on together and we have a lot of fun with. Um, and I know uh, Will may not have had the best time uh, with this video, but it was really fun and I like the premise of it. The What's My Name Game video, uh, we, we've done a game before very similar to that. It was guessing the flavor text on cards. Um, and the idea is pretty straightforward. It's take a few cards uh, that are relevant or that are fun uh, and just kind of sit down and test Will's knowledge on uh, some of these cards. And it's meant to be very relaxed, really fun, styled sort of like Good Mythical Morning, 
uh, mixed with magic. So it's like we just want to sit down and have a fun time with it, uh, kind of take a different look at the game and make a game out of the game, if that makes sense. Uh, not be too serious about it, just enjoy it. A lot of the channels out there, obviously magic-related channels, are doing things like deck techs and informational videos and how do I become a better player, which is all very important stuff. It's all relevant stuff. It's all stuff that we want to cover. Uh, and hence we have the podcast where we kind of have that forum for that. Uh, but our goal for the channel is really to kind of fill that niche of we just want to entertain people and have fun with this. Uh, and so that was sort of an attempt to do that. Uh, granted, it was sort of a first attempt in a very long time. Uh, and so it wasn't perfect. There were obviously things that we'd like to do better uh, if we revisit that at some point in the near future, which we do plan to. Um, but... Obviously, a video like that is a one-off video. It's not something that you guys expect. It's not part of our schedule, and the the analytics show that. It wasn't our, a very well-viewed video or even, uh, I mean, people liked it, but it wasn't a, like the view count didn't go crazy or anything like that, whereas a deck tech video, which I just sit down and do, it takes like, you know, five hours to script, record, edit, you know, do all that stuff because a lot of it is done in post-production. It doesn't take quite as long as some other videos, but it still takes some, some time and I just have to sit down and make those. Um, it's not the most fun process in the world, but you guys love it. Uh, the first deck tech we did for Guilds of Ravnica, the Sultime midrange deck, uh, was and still is our most viewed video by a long way. Uh, and the, the second deck tech, which was a Is It Spells deck, did also quite well. Uh, in comparison to a lot of our other videos, it got a few hundred views, which we're a small channel for us, that's great. So it's just interesting. Uh, it's something that I think as a YouTube channel you have to balance because you know you, you want to make content that you're excited about, otherwise you just burn out. Uh, and not that we're anywhere close to burning out by any means, uh, and this is all content that we want to make, otherwise we wouldn't be doing it. Um, but it is a little bit tough because Obviously, we were pretty excited about the idea for the What's My Name game, and it wasn't super well received, which is fine. If you guys don't enjoy it, you shouldn't watch it. It's totally cool. But then on the other hand, the deck techs, which are informational in nature and things that you can find everywhere, people love because that's what you expect to see. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just an interesting thing, and it kind of got me thinking about that. Uh, if you are a YouTube channel out there watching this for whatever reason, uh, then... It's something that if you haven't run into, you probably will eventually, uh, and it's an important thing, in my opinion, as a YouTube channel to do to make content that you are excited about, regardless of how well it's viewed. Um, the reason that we got into the YouTube game was because we just thought it'd be fun, uh, to be honest. Uh, we sat down and recorded a podcast episode on a whim, uh, and it started this whole process, which we've been in now for over a year and a half, uh, which is insane. Excuse me, by the way. <coughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, so, I don't know, just uh, keep that in mind, I guess, if you are an aspiring YouTube channel. I didn't really have a takeaway point for that. Uh, it's just something that we've kind of been looking at recently, because uh, obviously this is our channel, we want to make it something we enjoy, but we also want to make sure you guys enjoy it, because otherwise, you know, there's not a real reason for you guys to come view it and for us to make it. It kind of defeats the purpose either way, so uh, just stuff to think about, that's all. Uh, again, don't really have a good takeaway for that, but uh, just an interesting point that I wanted to bring up. So, uh, yes, Guilds of Ravnica, stoked about it. Uh, we should be back on schedule uh, after this video, actually, because this video is going up super late. Uh, but we're, we're doing our best to keep everything on track. Uh, with fall sort of in gear now, or at least starting in gear, our weather is terrible. But um, the plan is to start sort of backstocking episodes for the Christmas, New Year's time, stuff like that, uh, and that way we can hopefully get ahead of the game uh, on future episodes of the podcast, things like that, uh, just in case one of us is out of town or something like that. Um, we've got a lot of options to do that with certain topics, and so we've been listing out a lot of topics, and the plan is to start recording those soon. That way, hopefully, you guys don't miss any podcast episodes. That's really the goal. So uh, we'll do the best we can to keep that on track. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I had anything else. Um, sorry for the weird ramble about YouTube stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Weekly Ramble. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. We've got tons of it. 
go check it out now. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next weekly ramble.